Okay, my name is Man. I'm uh, the unit leader for Inferno Express. Um, you know, we play semi-casually. We have something like 25 active members in the unit. But out of those active members, maybe only lucky enough to get 12 of us in a drop every so often. Anyway, uh, we drop Community Warfare pretty successfully. Against some organized teams, we do pretty well. But against certain other units, um, we always lose. And... You know, we end up trying to figure out what our strategies are on, and it's pretty well known that there are a lot of complaints about hacks. But um, in any case, reviewing a stream by Wyatt Orc, who fights but for KCOM. Um, I want you to watch the screen. Okay, that should have been enough for you to see it. Let me go back. So here's a situation where. People who know anything about the hacks, um, they probably know more than I do, but what I do know is that you can turn on and turn off the hacks with a shortcut key, and that the, the user interface does not show up on your stream if you don't want it to. So here's a situation where we're watching a guy's screen. He's streaming what he sees. This is not a game recording. This is nothing like that. This is what whatever is sent to Twitch is exactly what he sees in his screen in the computer at home. So where in the world will you normally see that three jets? The guy who fires his lasers and his lasers are not in the middle of the reticle. I mean here you clearly see the lasers all snap to target to the crit leg, his right leg, center mass of the crit leg. And is nowhere near the reticle. So this is proof positive that White Orc is, in fact, using hacks for at least aiming. He's probably using a wall hack as well, but there's no way to see that. At least, not without really looking into his behaviors. Whatever the case is, this is this is why MechWarrior Online doesn't get a bigger standing in the in the international, um, like, major league gaming community. Is because PGI is simply not doing enough about the hacks and they don't want us talking about it. They want to pretend it's not a problem. And generally, I agree, it's not. I mean, I mean, I would think that of the thousands of players that play, maybe 2% use hacks regularly, maybe 5% play with them every now and then. But these teams, these allegedly, quote unquote, competitive teams, uh, I don't. I, the concentration of hackers is extremely high. And uh, I don't like to point fingers, but this is the guy streaming from his own account, and we're looking exactly at an aimbot hack where his computer has snapped a target to right leg, and he's not even aiming. He's not even aiming at the leg. Now, I think he remembers that he's streaming and he turns it right off. Probably caught himself looking really obvious. So there you see, he misses. He's, he doesn't even have good aim, so that's probably why he needs to hack. The guy sucks at aiming, can't even leave his target. So, I, I don't I don't care if he if he like uses hacks five percent of the time or one percent of the time or maybe once every ten years I don't care. But if you use it once, in my opinion, you lose all respect. And uh, my unit is very strict about not having any hackers on board. And uh, this is the sort of stuff that makes it really dis disconcerting and disheartening to play Macquarie the online. There you go. I see his lasers. Um, leaving right the reticle to snap the target again. Right torso. So yeah. yeah. It all speaks for itself. There's a Jaeger match. Kcom needs to clean house and they have to maybe maybe um, look into who their leaders are and what the leaders are doing because I've seen some pretty suspicious behavior. People are way too ready to what? fire when I turn the corner and so on. Alright, enough of this. I'm gonna go to bed now. Sorry, that's almost kind of.